Hi guys, this is Tracy again, and I think this footage is going to be a disaster. I'm going to talk to you and try eventually to get you in this cocoon. This is our first monarch hatching, and I'm going to identify her as a female. Now that I can see her wing formations a little bit better, I don't see the scent glands that you would see in a male. So I'm going to call her a female for now. We'll double check tomorrow and make sure those wings haven't changed. She's acting really weird for a first day hatch. First of all, she's way too active. Second of all, I've tried to put her back on the clear cocoon that she hatched from, which is right here. She should really take right to it, and she's not. She's acting like she's ready to get up and go, but there's no way her wings are going to be strong enough. If I try to release her now, she'll like crash into the building and stuff and flail all over the ground. She's doing unusually well with being handled, but the wings are still soft and I kind of... She's frustrating me because unless she lays upside down and the wings don't always dry properly and then their flying is a disaster and then... It's hard to release them, but I'm going to let her find her own way. I have some heat lamps on. Let me see if I can back up. I have some heat lamps on there, so she's drawn to them. And she's very, very, very active in a way that they kind of rest for the first day after they're born. Not this girl. So... I don't know, I'm going to like twist this around and try and get you in there with her. I don't know if I'm going to... Hang on, bear with me. Oh, that's cool. I'm just kind of coming up underneath her with our little hobby camera. So that's it. This is our first Monarch birth today. This is Tracy. Peace out.